A dense forest near the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Bedford was the site of a small clearing which conclusively proved that Britain certainly has a winner in its P-1127 vertical takeoff plane. From a high-speed run, it virtually stopped in mid-air above the 100 by 50-yard clearing skirted by 60-foot high trees and gently began to settle onto a small aluminium pack. It was the most impressive demonstration yet seen of the capabilities of the revolutionary fighter plane. Flown on this occasion by a test pilot, it proved the takeoff could also be accomplished with little difficulty from a restricted place. Experts in many countries, including the United States, are showing keen interest in the P-1127. It's fast, high-flying, and provides vital tactical flexibility and mobility. A winner in every way. From a winner in the air to a British fighting vehicle, perhaps best described as a Submar tank. Actually, it's the versatile Centurion tank showing yet another side of its adaptability at the Army Department's fighting vehicle research establishment. Object of the display was to show overseas buyers the impressive mobile fighting equipment Britain has to offer. They saw our underwater tank, now it was the turn of the on-the-water tank. Again a Centurion, but this time equipped with a glass fibre float jacket. A mechanical bridge layer demonstrates one way of getting over a problem, but there are other ways too. The Chieftain, one of the most advanced tanks in the world, over 50 tons of massive power. More conventional forms of transport were put through their paces on axle-breaking runs. That's real independent suspension. A mini Mokin uniform reckons that nothing's impossible, even a one in three grading. And anything it could do, a Land Rover could take in its stride. The armoured car took the easy route. But all's not well in the woods. That's one of the Saladin's wheels. But in war, that's a natural hazard and the Saladin copes easily with five wheels to spare. An impressive show of mobile strength that results from cooperation between motor manufacturers and the army.